video actually didn't record. So yeah, normally I'll wait to uh, you know check on the stream after we get into a duel or two, but uh, this time I'm obviously gonna you know make sure we are recording. Well, I know I'm recording, but I'm gonna make sure we. Uh, you can uh, see the video <laughs> and hear the audio. I guess. Uh, so yeah, bear with me. <laughs> Definitely wanna don't wanna repeat last time. Like that was crazy, man. Like I was streaming three hours, and I mean, like you can hear the audio, but you couldn't see anything. It was it was crazy. And like if I were to pick one, you know what I mean? If I were to pick something that to go wrong. Say I got like a really good part or something in forbidden memories or something. And the the audio fucked up, but not the video. I mean you could still, you know. Yeah. It, it would be annoying if you could post comedy. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. <laughs> but it was the other way around me, which is definitely like worst case scenario. So <laughs> Also, I am gonna do is turn down the back. I remember someone saying, like in a, one of my comments, they were like, "Yeah, the background music is super loud." So anyway, pretty good start for them. Uh, let's see what we got here. Mm, this starting hand, well, hmm, could be better. Let's like, be honest. Um, boy, oh boy. Hmm, only one face down, but uh, their field spill might be a problem as usual. Neptune doesn't really help this hand. Hmm. I think what helps this hand the most, believe it or not, is if I set this uh, yet to get uh, trapped. But uh, not looking good at this first hand. I think, honestly, the best thing I can grab would be the Rebirth of Parsha. Oh, and that's, that's going to be GG, because uh, let's pick up, they can play the field spell now, right? Pop my card. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember how all these cards work. Not much I could have done about this. I mean, I guess I could have used Dark Roller No More. Uh, hmm. 
possibly stop them from giving advantage, but I think they can chain traps though, right? Yeah, they can. Yeah. Not much we could have done on this one. Um, <laughs> sure on. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, but it, one funny thing, like, you, you notice how, like, Labyrinth, like, to pop your, uh, pop all your cards and stuff? I remember towards the end of last year, we started to add, like, a lot of, uh, dark coffins and stuff to the deck. Uh, for some reason, we couldn't, uh, for the event. But, uh, <laughs> I do think that would be pretty funny. <laughs> if we made even one, like, Labyrinth player lose to, like, you know, Dark Coffin and Statue of the Wicked and stuff. You know, just silly stuff that happens when it gets destroyed. Uh, so we'll give it a try. Hmm, I might want to grab some cards that activate when destroyed in hand, too. Hmm. Although the hand effect doesn't always... I mean, I guess this card can destroy cards in my hand, but it doesn't always happen. And, and in fact, we can choose, which, you know, definitely, uh, yeah. Anyway. Quick first match, uh, but yeah, as far as this stream goes, that's, that's all I got planned for this one. It's just, uh, yeah, get the new gems they got, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, wish me luck. And after, after we get, like, you know, two or three duels in, I'll, I'll, I'll change that. <laughs> Put in, like, some of those dark coffin cards. I, I don't think I have weight from the dragons, but. It definitely seems like it'd be a pretty good card this event, not gonna lie. Although, I don't know if there's any good, uh... Well, yeah, there's plenty of good fairy targets and, uh, fiend targets, for sure. Yeah, and the extra deck? Definitely, definitely. that out now that I've tweeted that I'm out. And I'm like, here? Oh, oh yeah, there's no Ash. <laughs> oh, one card in the extra? That is, uh, that's a bold move. Hmm. Okay. We'll do this. Let's see if they've got that impermanence. That's an impermanence. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I'll keep going for that one. Stick to your bones. Be sure you I guess we'll go with the, uh, as far as the Parsha search, mm, I guess we'll discard Tempest and go for, um, probably Fallen Sanctuary. Um, yeah, I'm thinking Fallen Sanctuary. That way I have a monster um, and Fallen Sanctuary can set up another um, Normally turn one, I won't be searching Master Pike for you. So, okay, so now there's two materials. And here we go. Alright. It's your night, Lord Hawk. Alright. We'll discard card. And we will grab. Yeah, you know, like I said, I think. I mean, I could also grab this. And sometimes, like, I have noticed in these matches, sometimes the extra 300 points does come up. Um... But, no, no, I think, I think I'll take this one. This time. We've got plenty of Shine Ball to the brain, so. Yeah, and we've also got uh, Neptune to the so... If I use a monster maybe, I can start to make sure that I get that out of my deck so I don't draw it. We'll go ahead and shut in all the things we're right here. Okay. And we will set the card. Hmm. Let's see. You know what? Maybe instead of setting the Omni, maybe I should set something. Hmm. 
Nada. Shadow Imprisoning Mirror would have been good to draw this one for sure. Oh yeah. Hmm. I'm not too familiar with the Dark Lords, but uh, I guess we're about to find out what they can do. Hmm. Cup of Ace? Wow. No, I'm not gonna negate that, but if they get lucky, I'd agree, I guess, right? Oh, that's strange. Thanks for the cards, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. We will take those two cards. So are they going for some kind of OTK strategy? Or like, I don't, I don't know. Well, obviously, they're playing a couple ways. So. Okay, okay. Well, two for you, two for me. Alright, so they've got six cards in hand now. Wow, cap of ace. Hmm, that is bold. And I like, especially like after the first one fails. I'm surprised they played the second one. Wow. Um, alright, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Hmm. Uh, do Dark Lords get benefits when banished? I actually don't know. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with this. Hmm. I have seen like one card. Though. I see. I see. <laughs> Nurse Replicule, huh? Hmm. So it, this is like kind of an OCP deck. I see. Well, hmm, this isn't gonna destroy me. If I let him upstart. But what I will do is I'll probably play like a bunch of your cards and stuff face down uh, once my turn starts. So what I will do is like, yeah, like I could stop this effect right now, actually. Uh, but I think what I will do is just, you know, we'll take it. We'll take it for now. And then once uh, my turn starts, reload. Wow. Yeah, they are. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of OG interest, but. Yeah, I think uh, once my turn starts, I will use Fall of the Sanctuary to negate these effects. Uh, yeah. Hmm, so they're basically using the Dark World Hidden, and... Well, I guess this card can directly search in their threat to kill, right? This first card they play? Like Into the Void, yeah, that's not a shock. Um, so they're basically looking for their gift cards or whatever. Uh, this card... Add one Dark World card from your deck here. Oh, um, this is a Dark Lord card, okay. Okay, I see. I see the I see the lines. I see the lines. We'll take a look at their deck after this. That's pretty interesting. But yeah, I have seen a lot of this, you know, uh, nurse record field burn strategy around for the event. Honestly it works pretty good. Uh hmm. That's fine. I guess I'll send Oh, we want to keep her birth in hand. Oh, huh. I guess I'll send her to the grave. And we'll send, um, yeah, this card can reform it. Yeah, so. Okay, so that's it. So it's hers, I guess. There we go. Uh, oh, not bad, not bad. Dark Lord no more. Okay. I doubt they'll set up like a full board that I need to negate, but wow, they, they, they have not found the, uh, the gift cards and stuff. Not yet. They are going deep. <laughs> Hey, man, they're down to 20 cards in the deck. That is pretty good. Allure? Okay. Alright. <laughs> man, yeah, I definitely want to take a look at this deck afterwards. Pretty interesting. Oh, they did. <laughs> man, yeah, they they went deep there. They went two cup of aces, reload, the dark lord search cards. Pretty interesting, honestly. Alright, so let's take a look at that uh, Dark Lord deck. Uh, let's see. Tatsu, Tatsu, confirm. Um, so they're playing two, three of this. The normal or special summon, you can take two different names. Oh, special summon one of them to your opponent. Interesting. Add the other to your opponent. 
Hmm. So this is basically just another way to potentially get the way to add it to your hand. I'm sure they have a card that can special summon it. Uh, but yeah, this is the usual. Yeah, try and guess. Yeah, trap trick. Um, they, they were just really unlucky and couldn't find their gift cards for their Paths of Destiny. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Wow, duality. Yeah, three cup of ace. Wow. This is basically like an Exodia. Like, uh, well, you don't see Pot of Desires in Exodia decks. This is basically an Exodia deck with, uh, except you're going for the Earth Earth and the Burn. A Forbidden Lands. That's an interesting tech choice. Hmm. But I guess it can't stop your, um, and like, why are they playing this? This, uh, yeah, this two tribute one. You can discard this card and one Dark Lord card. Aw, Josh, aw. Okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, Dark Lord gets you a next one. Pretty good. Uh, I see. So that's basically, yeah. You want to draw two cards. So, that's nice, okay. Surprised they're not playing more upstart goblins, by the way. Uh, because it's basically like a. It basically, it, it, as long as you get the combos, upstart might as well read. Uh, burn your opponent for a thousand draw one card, which honestly is pretty good. Yeah. And they have the all powerful Leaker Pill. It's your deck. Oh man. <laughs> I stick it up. I, 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 I kind of like that deck, honestly. Uh, anyway, let's uh, get into another duel. And after this duel, we'll, uh, we'll change it back to those destruction cards that I was talking about. So. That was interesting, though. Like we'll be going first. Well, we got lucky. We got Venus uh, last time. So let's see. hopefully we get Venus. Basically, we want Venus ideally at the start. You know, to go first. But you know, sometimes it doesn't always happen. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we have a hand like this, which honestly, this hand isn't too bad. Uh, mainly because we can search Venus right away. Unless there's an infinite and permanent. So let's go with this. I will search Imperm. Show me that infinite and permanence. Show it to me, Teal. Man, we haven't gotten Imperm in a good minute. I'm almost missing it. <laughs> you know? Because, man, like, when, you, when you're playing on the ladder or on ranked, you get Imperm, like, all the time. Or Ash, or whatever, you know. Uh, okay, still. Again, like, uh, I remember toward the end of last year, someone did and yeah, you definitely, it's pretty questionable to do, like I understand you want to set up your labyrinth stuff, but you can do all this in the end phase. I remember one player, like they set up, yeah, their welcome labyrinth or whatever, and uh, I went full combo, and with Master Hyperion, I was actually, and in fact, I could, yeah, here, like, I could honestly, hmm, if I really wanted to, I could go into, uh, you know, um, Earth and just pop that, but, uh, yeah, what's that too? Yeah, it's honestly a bad strategy to do that in your opponent's, you know, first turn in the main phase. Definitely best to wait for Stobie or whatever set up in the end phase, you know, even if it's with a, a coup clock, so. Um, let's see, what is face now? Oh, right, 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 and I actually don't have a, uh, negate in the graveyard, so let's not use this quite yet. Let's see if they have Feather Duster or something. Because that will affect what I search for if they do. Okay. We got Teal. Uh, yeah, I wish I could negate this, but I cannot. Mmm, Field Spell, huh? Okay. This doesn't target, does it? No, it does not. Mm. Interesting. Um, and I think they messed up the chain over there, didn't they? Well, just in case they didn't, let's get an extra card on the field. Play Fallen Sanctuary. And I will take... Let's grab... This card, actually. Normally I would take my negate. But, uh... Yeah, let's grab this card. Hmm. Yeah, because this needs to be on the field and resolve first place. I, 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 
guess we'll see how this works. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think they missed their chance for an extra destruction, right? I think they did. Wow. Yeah, that's... Okay. So basically, they had a free pop this turn too with the field spell. They had just let the field spell, you know, resolve and then, you know, and then play Welcome Labyrinth. They could have destroyed one of my cards in addition to everything we've done so far. Um, let's see. Let's see hmm, is this affected by the I have negated that. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. You know, it's funny. I actually want... This is a rare situation where I actually want Earth to go to the grave. Because the main reason is because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're going to let the attack go through. Because, um... Yeah, that way I'll have uh, a monster in the grave falling... Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Hmm. No, no, no. If he had to attack me, uh... Labyrinth Lady, I would have done the play for Honest, but, um, yeah, I actually want, uh, oh, let me try um, but yeah, I actually want Fallen Sanctuary so we can, uh, negate this destruction effect, I think, so, yeah, normally I wouldn't want, uh, you know, Earth to be dis destroyed like that. Especially if I can stop it. But I think having the negate here will help the monster negate on uh, this card. Oh, you can add it to your hand. Okay. That's cool, bro. Go ahead, kill. And, you know, normally I never banish. Um, Uh, Earth or Fallen Sanctuary either, but uh, yeah, this situation is just a little different, so okay. they should end their turn here. Yeah. Alright, here we go. The major problem is the field spell right now. Yeah, because that gets a pop too. Hmm. What shall I do here? I think regardless, uh, the field spell is gonna pop. Me. That's the problem. Um, hmm. Let's talk about playing this. Uh, see if they shotgun some stuff. Honestly, if they shotgun some traps, that would help. Me. No. Okay. Um, They probably will play their effects now. Yeah, the problem is I can't stop the field spell though, so I think we've lost this one, but uh, uh, target a card on the field, destroy it. Oh yeah, there's that too, but um, yeah, definitely to this we want to chain, we want to chain this, that way we can negate this effect till the end of the turn. Hmm, man, if I had Neptune, that would have really helped me here. Okay. There goes Beck. Hmm. Now they should still be able to, yeah, yeah, use the field spells, so. Hmm. What are they gonna destroy? 
Well, if they're smart, they'll destroy Fallen Sanctuary. Hmm. Yeah, but they've got plenty of damage on board here. Uh, the only thing I've got is Negate Attack. Okay, so this affects Negate. So, nothing to worry about there. Yeah, I, th I think they. I think Teal's got this though, regardless. Yep. Oh yeah, they get to draw two cards. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, it, it might have been better for us to negate one of these, one of these two, but I, mm, I don't know. It's a t it's a tough call. It's a tough call. Hmm. Man, like, I wish this was Vanity's call right now. Because <laughs> these are all different names, too, that they came. Yeah, it's crazy. Yep, Stovey, yeah. Yeah, man, that, that would have been, that would have been a baller's Vanity's call right there. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think this one's basically over, though, once they've resolved it. Yeah, because Stovey will come back, change her to the hand. That card. Yeah, this is snowballing real fast. Hmm. Okay, and then they'll pop a card. Yeah, if they get this, I think it's basically over. Uh, oh, did they not destroy a card there? Oh, maybe they targeted and negated that, maybe. <laughs> well, anyway, only my turn. Hmm, I don't know, guys. Not much. on Fallen. Wait till they activate a tramp. That is a good choice. Um, hmm. Well, I guess I will try this. Um, let's try to hit this, actually. I don't really mind if Fallen Sanctuary spun back, but I do want to try to stop the construction. I think this might still work. Because she resolves like after the trap, right? Well, I guess we're about to find out. But I don't know if, uh... Oh, I think I'm going a good card. Yeah, this one might be over. So... Oh, that comes out in defense. Okay. Because I know this card's unaffected by traps, right? Yeah, it can't be targeted. Hmm... Okay, well Fallen Sanctuary will protect that. So yeah, <laughs> once again once again. <laughs> uh yeah, Sanctum of Parsha has protected her in back row, so that's pretty from the field. I guess they basically just didn't read my card. Uh, let's, it depends what they attack with first here. Uh let's see. Lovely lady. I think that can negate attack, right? Uh, yeah. Alright. Okay. We'll get there. Well, somehow we survived that turn. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, this is basically all of them, man. They, they got to pop on my turn. Yeah, I'm sure, you know, two of these traps are mine. So, yeah. Mm, well, your fix 
that's negated though, right? Including the effect of set trap. So hmm. just for just for the walls, I might summon Shine Ball and have it go into this card. <laughs> we'll try to use honest. <laughs> but yeah, I think this one's basically over. So hmm. Well, oh, they had storming mirror ports. Wow, wow. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely a good card. <laughs> All right, let's see what we draw here. Hmm. Guiding Ardias. Hmm. <laughs> I, I mean, I doubt it, but, you know, let's try to debate. Okay, no. Alright, here we go, guys. Time for the last one. So I'll play Shine Ball. In attack mode. And, um... Let's see. I'll actually end my turn. <laughs> let's, let's see if they just, like, I don't know, attack in with the look lady. Or a lovely lady, and then I can use honest on their turn. But like that's that's the only hope I have of making it another turn. Is if they just they full heartedly go in with something that's like three thousand. Well, I mean that's definitely a card. Yeah. So. <laughs> and then that'll let them you know chain a lot of effects. So yeah, GG, GG. <laughs> yeah, that, that one snowballed really quickly, but, I mean, it's all good. Really, uh, really, I think that one was determined, you know, like a lot of games, by who went first. Because uh, we had Venus in hand first, so... Yeah, if we had gotten, like, three set up with the Shine Balls and a Park Festival, I think we would have won, honestly. Or we would have been, well, we would have had more than gates, you know, set up. Um... But it's all good. And, and that's the other problem is I, I didn't draw a MST or a Duster pistol for the field spells, so. Yeah. It's all good though. Now let's see. So let's go to the. This one, yeah, I think I'll add some of those, uh, some of those cards I was thinking of. Alright, so we'll go first. Shadow Mirror, nice. Hmm, let's go with Shadow Mirror and Venus. And we'll end the turn here. Okay, we'll flip up Shadow Mirror right away. Magical Musketeers? Hmm. Well, that works. That, that was a quick out. My goodness. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, I think all Magical Musketeers are like monsters, yeah? Wow, Tides of the Brother. Nice start for them.
just some I think these cards have effects based on columns too. Yeah, they do. They definitely do. All right. Well, we basically want the search effect here. So even if they play something from hand, I'm cool. Wow, she just points to zero? Holy crap. Ooh, that's a pretty interesting card. Alright, so we'll try to activate the effect here. And, uh, what shall we grab? Uh, hmm, let's try this. Set this. Uh, yeah, set rebirth in the turn. I think this is the first time I've seen magic unless it's um, all throughout the festival. Pretty interesting. Hmm, not sure what the choke point of the combo is either. But uh, they've got like a lot of level three. Oh, they're just straight up attacking. Okay. I guess if they go for like uh, some kind of monster. I'll use Rebirth. Hmm. Okay. My turn. Solemn Strike, not bad. See, I think I will set this. Okay. These are affected by traps, right? Yeah. Okay, and they didn't destroy you into my back row last time, so it might be okay. Hmm. Basically just gonna try to end the battle phase. Go for another turn. That's the battle phase. Okay. We'll activate the E here. Uh, nope. Do, 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 do. This card won't oh, draw two cards. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to that. It doesn't sound too good. I'll show you my solemn strike. Discard this. Oh wow, they have a counter trap too. Holy crap. Last stand. Wow. Okay. Did not know they have a hand camera trap. That's impressive, honestly. Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright. Wow. Yeah. Don't know what to say about that. I mean, look at all this advantage. <laughs> Magical Musketeer is best deck, man. Holy smokes. Oh, I guess we'll go for it. Monster Reborn. I probably shouldn't have played this in this column, but, uh... Let's see. Hmm. Oh, and they can just add the counter trap back. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Alrighty. Set to pass. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, I guess they must be very or fiend. Huh. 
I'm really just curious to see what type are magical musketeers. Hmm, they are fiends, okay. I mean, you would think they're warriors, but, uh, you know, musketeers, but... Nope. Not bad. Light fiends, too. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Lucky last stream, last time I streamed this, and not a bad start, honestly. Not bad. If we don't draw Venus, this is definitely what we want to see. Well set to cards. Stoey. Not too worried about that. Get rid of their stormy mirror force for that. Mm -hmm. So there's the Welcome Labyrinth, and we'll set two cards, all again. Okay, so we got two negates. The big problem is we really can't stop attacks right now. Hmm. Except they don't have the field spell yet. Um, you know what? I will negate this. Um, uh, let's use this. Okay, so I'll show you my problem. And I'll just tear this. I hate to discard a bountiful, but, uh... There we go. Let's just summon a monster. Yeah, so let's bring out... Normally I bring out the Link monster. Hmm. But, uh... Honestly, with this field, I think this is the best choice. Uh, Sacred Arc, Arc, Air Knight. Yeah. Hmm, Neptune. Okay. And that was, was that Welcome or Big Welcome? Oh, it doesn't matter. I went to the deck, so. Yeah, I think with Bountiful out, this is probably the best target. Alright. So let's draw here. Venus. That's not bad. Okay, so we can special summon Venus, but what I think I'll do is I'll actually normal summon it, because if it gets destroyed, then we can bring out uh, Neptune. Okay, so that's Welcome Lab, huh? Hmm. As much as I don't want him to have a monster, I think the right place to let this go through, because I've only got one solo. See what they bring out here. Now, if this was big welcome, I might have negated it, but it is not. Uh, Ariane. Okay. Let's try to get the next here. Uh, um. Hmm. Target a card destroyed. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'd be surprised if they didn't destroy Air Knight. Hmm. You know. As much as I, uh, that sucks, I don't think it's right for you, Solemn, here. Not yet. Not yet. Hmm. Not yet. Not yet. That jacks in the grave. Okay. And yeah, now that they're down to just two back row, I think, um, hmm. I'll probably use, uh, Moon to actually go after the Probably. But, uh, anyway. Mm, good, good, good. They whiffed on the field spell. That's good. Oof. That's good for us. They do get to draw a card, though. Oh yeah, and I guess they got to rearrange their decks, so... Yeah, they can do that whatever... Oh, okay. 
in this. Uh, can be destroyed by card effects. While well, they control us that card. So yeah, I think we'll actually try to go after their back row here. And then we'll start popping stuff. I definitely feel safer doing this since I held on to Solemn all this time. Let's go with it. Load up the graveyard with Shine Ball. Very good. Storming Mirror Force. Wow. Okay. And then I think I'll actually link Venus off here. Um, yeah. So we'll go with this. Two materials. And this. Alright, here we go. Parsha. Okay. Nope. And then with Parsha, I think I can get Hyperion. We'll discard Solemn. Grab Master Hyperion. And, and then with this, I can banish. Um, yeah, I can banish the Neptune and the Graveyard. You got a lot of gas actually in this game. So I can banish this Neptune. Search for Sanctuary in the Sky. And the order we need to do this is get rid of that last back row. Then we can pop their, um, their lady there. So, pop the last back row. Ooh, Welcome Labyrinth. Okay, so now we play the field spell. And now we're able to destroy this. Um, well, you control it. able to destroy this. So we'll banish this to Shine Ball. Stop this. Very good, very good. Uh, let's see. Okay. And now, I think we want to... Could actually bring back the moon here. With the uh, Neptune. Should I? I honestly think I should. I feel like we're pretty close to closing out the game. Let's see. So, let's do it. Let's use Neptune. Survive. They don't have big welcome level, do they? No, they do not, luckily for us. Okay, so let's go with you attack this. And then you destroy. I think I missed out on my little bit of damage there on 300 damage. That is okay. We had a good set of views. Still got a solemn, so yeah, looking good, looking good. Let's end the turn. I'm surprised they didn't quit out, you know, once I destroyed everything, but uh, yeah, props to them, props to you. Uh the ING YT. One face down. It's not gonna do it, partner. I Old Man says no. Let's draw. Oof. Oof. Wow, what a draw. Okay, I summon Bountiful Artemis. And I will activate this effect. Okay, and we'll banish this. And pop this. Fair welcome by everyone. Wow, okay. Alright guys, and we're back. We will just win. So, nice. Our death. Bountiful Artemis. You get the last hit, buddy. 
Nice. Yeah, that that was that was pretty nice. But obviously, like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about whenever I play this deck. Is like, you see the difference there since we got to go first and set up two counters. Like, it definitely that definitely made the difference because if they had gotten to set up first, they definitely would have won that one because I didn't have too much in the way to special summon stuff. So. Interesting. Two legacy pack tickets. Okay. All right. Uh, anyway. All right. We got two of our dailies here. Cool. Also got some uh, the new type uh, festival in the gym's department. Destroy a card. Okay. Yeah. I feel like that's a pretty easy. Yeah. Destroying ten cards. I feel like that's an easy. What is this? One hundred gems. Yeah. I feel like that's pretty. Pretty easy to get. Um, yeah, I could also knock out some solo mode dailies uh, while I'm here. As a matter of fact, let's do that now. I'm gonna knock out some solo mode dailies, and then, and then we're, we're gonna change the deck up a little bit, slightly. And this is just where I always go for solo daily, just right here. <laughs> there in the train.
festival. Let's mess with our deck a little bit. It's definitely not going to be the usual kind of furry deck we go with. Let's mess with this again. Okay. I'm over to some of the other cards I had in that other deck. Um, tell you what. Yeah, this deck isn't going to have nearly as many counter traps. So let's uh, let's remove the bountifuls. As much as I love them. Uh, well, I'll go down to one power each of you. And we might as well remove Condemned Witch. Yeah. And the, uh, the written scripture there. Okay. <laughs> so let's add Dark. Dark Coffin. Which I'm not sure if I have some of these cards in this. Yeah. <laughs> Statue of the Wicked. Statue. Oh, I don't have that card. Okay. Um. There's some other cards that I thought of. Um, in fact, just to make things easier, I'll go to this deck that we did edit and try to, yeah, because I already have some of the cards in there. Uh, I think it's this one. Let's see some of the cards in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark Oh, Wait, this is the one I just messed with, isn't it? No, no, it's not that one. It's uh, this one. But nah. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and add another clear world. That's pretty good. Or like, uh, 
wonder if this card's available. This this uh, this uh, festival trap stud. It is. <laughs> That's really really funny. It's really funny. And we happened to pull a royal decree last stream. You know, guys, what if we instead of running a counter fairy deck, what if we just run like an anti trap deck with royal decree, trap stun, four seed fire, these cards that pop, and we just throw in a bunch of good spell cards? Hmm, that sounds interesting. Okay, so let's take out Valkyria. Yeah, and we, we have anti trap cards in these too in Zachion. Grab, basically to reset the field, we could grab some other Time Lords as well. Like, normally I don't play this one. Normally I don't play um, this one, Gabrion, because it's just a little too fair to shuffle back cards. But honestly, that effect to shuffle back cards, and then, you know, we, we go into our Trap Stun strategy, it might be pretty good. You we'll don't keep the reboot. These kind of stun traps and effects as well, which I like to keep those. Put down to one Divine Punishment. Because uh, keep in mind, we don't want to stun our own traps. That's the only problem with this strategy. Uh, we'll take out Warning. Keep the Shadow Mirror. I think that's a good idea. Okay. And then we'll go take out... See, I took out some counter furry stuff, so what should I take? Honestly, this looks pretty. I guess I can, I can slightly scale back the Ariane. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What does the Time Lord Zinker do? Can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. Wow. No damage. Hmm. Wow. At the end of the damage step, that this card was special summoned from the next deck. You can activate this effect. Banish all monsters your opponent controls. Oh, I see. So it basically just temporarily clears them out. That might come up, honestly. Um, and I'll put all being down to one, I guess. Wait, do I even have Ready Fusion in here? I don't think I do. Why don't I? Ready Fusion. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> all Festival, I didn't even have this in the deck. That's weird. I, I, I guess I just missed that one. Um, pretty special something, basically. Um, okay, let's go back to Traps. That activate when they're destroyed. I'm sure there are some spells that activate when they're destroyed too. I just can't think of any right now. <laughs> Should we main three dust tornado? That would be pretty funny as well. Let's add a couple extra dust tornado though. Uh, really just to, uh, this is going after the labyrinth field spell right? is what we're doing. Um, okay, and now I can look for some more cards that activate when they're destroyed. And again, we're going anti-trap ourselves. Take out one Solemn. Um, should I take down one Fallen Sanctuary? I probably should. No, no, no. Take out one of this Sanctum. The Sanctum actually protects their aggro, which I don't want to do with this deck. Um, yeah, so we'll take out Sanctum completely, I think. No, we'll even one in case the 300 boost comes up. Um, but I could have had other cards that boost. No, let's, let's take it out. Let's take it out. And then let's look at some traps here.
this, that does work. Okay, let's go down to the tracks. Yeah, 
level, they are usually special summons, but the Time Lords aren't. And I think this is a pretty interesting tech as well, considering our deck set up. Okay, so let's back out. Let's take out Divine Punishment. Set up here. Oh, yeah, speaking of that, uh, I noticed I had three gift card Dark Lord. Let's see if I have any Dark Lord in our Shark deal. I do not. Wow, it's only a normal. Wow, okay, I, okay. <laughs> I can see why people are playing this during the festival because it's really cheap to craft. That's pretty funny. <laughs> then again, I guess the draw cards aren't, but the nurse herself. Pretty cheap to crap, yeah. Wow, as well as uh, some of the other Dark Lord cards, yeah. Pretty cheap deck to make, honestly. Probably except for Ick Shield. Yeah, 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 because that lets you draw too. But still, that's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. <laughs> okay, uh, anyway, uh, let's take a look here. Many monsters we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Uh, honestly, yeah, we did back out of the counter fairy stuff. But I may want to take this down a little. Uh, and then we just need to take out four cards. Let's slim this down to two since we've lost a lot of the counter traps. Um, I'm gonna try this out. I don't know how, you know, too good how this will go. Uh, loop of destruction, but I want to give it a try. I guess, although it does completely counter the Time Lord strategy and the Nurse Refugee strategy, so honestly, <laughs> which are two pretty common strategies going around here, so give me Hanawada back, actually. Um, and we'll take out two other spells and traps. Um, um, hmm. Trapstone is basically an upgraded for Ceasefire. Yeah, Force Beast Fryer does require a discard. So, let's take out one Ceasefire. And. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't even have the Divine Punishments. This card honestly good without the size. I guess it is a monster in a game, which... That's something. Um, hmm. oh, wait, could I even activate this card? Ooh, yeah, because you have to activate Sanctuary in Sky. Or a card that mentions it. Um, so we have Vanilla Sanctuary in the Sky. But yeah, I took it for Sanctuary. I'll leave it at one, I guess, and see if I can play it. Um, hmm. Yeah, if we can't play this without the usual stuff, then, uh, hmm. Well, I guess, hmm. I guess just to make sure I can play that. Play yeah. Hmm. I guess I will add one of these back in, and we'll take out a solemn judgment, I guess. Hmm. Okay. for the monster type festival and now we want some some of our cards to be destroyed so <laughs> this should definitely be a little, little something different okay how long have we been streaming by the way uh, okay about like an hour like about an hour or so. Cool, yeah, about an hour and a half, okay. Yeah, so we'll try this deck out in like a couple of duels, <laughs> and then we'll end the turn. Obviously, like, the this deck, uh, I know I know that we encounter Labyrinth players a lot, but if we don't encounter Labyrinth, and we get a bunch of like Dark Coffins and stuff, uh, yeah, this deck isn't you know, necessarily the best. Also, Magical Hats might be pretty good in this deck. Not bad, I just thought of it. But, uh... Anyway. Let's see here. Only two face down. There's Divine Punishment. Okay, let's summon a uh, guy to use Okay, and we'll just, uh... I don't know what kind of deck we're facing here, but, uh... Uh, oh, it's Labyrinth. I'm shocked. Shocked. <laughs> Interesting that they set on the first turn as well. What card would a Labyrinth deck set? Hmm. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Pretty clever, pretty clever. Um, I'll throw one down. No, 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 we're not gonna throw anything down. No, yeah, I'll throw it down. So. What am I thinking? And we'll end the turn. Huh. Response? Did they get big welcome and welcome? No. Okay. AT. X Meg. <laughs> Alright, let's see if they can finish us off this turn. Definitely a possibility. Hmm. Ooh, and they had back deck in hand. It's not bad, not bad at all. Now they can set like welcome labyrinth from their deck. If you uh, yep. Pretty good effects.
Basically taking damage off the board. That's why. Okay, there's the field spell. I will. I think I will. I will say no to that. Field spell for you. All right. Uh, oh, right. I forgot I could uh, play this card. Uh, sure, let's banish these guys. Definitely didn't see any special summoning on this card this turn. You know, without, you know, because they, he already had this card out. So I just assumed he would change it to attack mode and stuff, but, uh, you know. Hmm. Hmm. There's a back deck. <laughs> it's so odd seeing that, uh, normal summon. But I guess you can do that. If you want. You're gonna link summon you? Okay, so. Why else would you normal summon this card? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Nightmare Server. Oh, that's one way to do it, yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, they got rid of my Parsha. Not bad. Tethys, wow. Hmm. Oops, honestly, I think it's just, uh, I know we're gonna trigger the trap, but I think it's best to do this right here. So, go ahead and trigger that while that's the only card I have out that they can destroy with this, uh, this trap right here. And then we'll probably search for a birth of Parshat. Ooh, I just realized with guiding uh, Ariadne, they could actually give me something else. I think I took rebirth down to two. Mm. 
Yeah, I may actually want to fix that in the... Uh... Oh wow, they're gonna use the bounce effect? Hmm... I guess that is an option. Seems like they got this one wrapped up, honestly. Hmm. I thought for sure they just use the trap that activates when I attack, but maybe they can't use it on like a nightmare monster. Maybe. Uh, well. <laughs> I guess we'll just summon it back to the field. I don't know. I don't really know what else to do here. Let's see, summon that. And we'll set this and Honest right there, that would have been really funny. Because <laughs> they had like uh, three or four opportunities to uh, get rid of our yacht in there. <laughs> yep, honest there would have been pretty funny. I got one actually. Alright, at
or Zephion, who we've not seen. Still haven't seen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, let's see what deck we're up against here. Uh, Trickster. Oh. Hmm. I guess that's another burn strategy. Yeah, so there's quite a lot of burn strategies on this festival. Let's see. Trickstar is legal. Uh, Dark Lord Marie, Time Lords. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, I'm glad I decided to keep Hanawada in the deck. It definitely seems like it can come up in this festival quite a lot. So they'll probably take like light stage, light stage to their hand. Or maybe a Trickstar Reincarnation. Hmm. Oh, we'll see. Uh, yes, yeah, Reincarnation, okay. Hmm. I actually have a couple effects that activate when banished here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna get it. It's gonna get accelerated really fast here with the Dark Room of Nightmare. Ooh. <laughs> there's the Princess Curse. Yeah. There's the Reincarnation. So hopefully I don't draw. Okay, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, because now I can use the effect to grab Sanctuary in the Sky. Oh, and there's Zaphion. Okay. Hmm. Honestly, this might help us out quite a bit. Let's see what they have. What else they have here? Okay. So let's summon. Summon Zaphion here. Clear out their back room. Okay, so we'll just try to attack. If that's Imperm, though, that would really hurt us, but, uh, I'm gonna go for it. They're thinking. Hmm. I guess the hedge against this, I could have played Sanctuary in the Sky first, but, uh, Okay, okay. Yeah, believe it or not, I actually don't think I want to use Sanctuary in the Sky because all Trick Stars are actually fairy, so that would honestly help them. So let's shuffle back their strategy here. Very good. Okay. And then I will set. Or, I guess they don't have any back row, but. Yeah, I'll set Trap Simon anyway. Normally when they don't have as much back row, I'll keep Trap Simon. But... Oh man, my point is uh, sniffle a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay. Alright. Let's see what you got here. Hmm. Okay. So we actually didn't end up taking any burn from Candina, because uh, all we did was Zapion and straight in, so... Okay, I guess what I can do, if we don't draw anything else, is I can go into Tethys by using Ready Fusion. Oh, okay. That works too, Ball Hollow, okay. Okay, so now Zapion should go back to the deck. We've got trap stones, so I'm not too worried about this face down card. Nope, not fine. Alright. Alright, so we'll activate all hollow. And I should take the 200 bar. Hmm. They're thinking about something. Maybe they have like MSP or something? I don't know.
Mind the Thank you. And, uh, we might as well do the extra damage, so I'll probably play Blast with Chain in the damage step here. Or maybe I should save it, actually. Hmm. Not too familiar with the total attack stat of, a uh, Trickstar Monsters. Hmm. Yeah, we'll save it. We'll save it. We'll just begin the turn. Okay. Not too bad. I think Zathion definitely set him back quite a bit. Alright. Let's see what he can do. De De Demi? Yes. Or is it Demines? Demine. Demine De De sounds cool. It almost sounds like Demines. King of Armageddon. <laughs> Alright. What you got? Demines? Uh, this is our Rihanna. What? Trickstar Burn plus Labyrinth? Ah. Five head, five head. Oh. What a 500 IQ play. Make me think you're on Burn. And, but you're actually playing Labyrinth. Mm, okay. That's quite interesting. Wow, so for two turns, they, uh, they kind of bricked on the Labyrinth cards. Yeah? Yeah, because they, all they did was do Candina. I let Candina survive a turn because I went to Zapion, so... But they kind of bricked. For a Labyrinth deck, they kind of bricked, which is shocking, uh, considering how many times the yeah, Labyrinth hasn't bricked, uh, going against this here. Big Wolf and Labyrinth. Okay. Yeah, that is surprising. Huh. All right. I guess big welcome is a good idea because, uh, yeah, after they use the effect, they can then bounce my Tethys. So. Not bad, not bad. And there's... Okay, there's Koo Clock. Okay. We got Trap Set, though, so... Let's go, trap sign, baby. Alright, this last face down might matter over here. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> they said, uh uh, you're not stopping me. Nice. I did cost them half their life points, but I, I think that solemn one was well worth it. Well worth it. Lovely lady. Hmm. And then this should destroy a card. Um, does this affect target? Hmm, it does not. Hmm. It does not target. Well, I'm gonna just do this. Oh, they did go after it. Wow. <laughs> oh man, I guess I should have played Blast with Chain there, but no, I think if I had activated it, then they could have just destroyed, uh, could have destroyed Tethys and destroyed both, so, yeah. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> well, either, either way, though, they have a uh, big welcome, uh, so yeah, they could have just bounced Tethys. There, there's a lot of ways they could have went about that. I guess we're gonna put this on Tempest too. Um, yeah. Hmm. First time we've gotten her out. But uh, yeah, her effect's actually pretty good. So if you draw a fairy, you can reveal one to draw a card. So, which, that can get out of hand pretty quickly, obviously. Hmm. Oh, 
exactly what we need at this point. But we'll just get in the turn here. That should be game though, honestly. Yeah, because I knew that was a big welcome, so like even if we dust it, she she can use you know both effects to uh, special summon a labyrinth card and destroy a card, so not really worth the dust trip, honestly. Slippers. No. <laughs> and there's Ariana. Oh yeah, what time is it by the way? If you were planning on recording some out, uh, oh okay, it's like 1116. Yeah, as far as YouTube goes here uh, lately, I've uh, been doing pretty good. I think today I've got uh, some Pokemon Platinum Randomizer premiering, as well as, uh, let's see, uh, I think some Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Me. Yeah, so um, I think I do need to go here in a few. Remember, I have some a little bit of editing to do on the memories, um, as well as I think it's day later today. I'm gonna record a little more uh, Naruto Ninja Storm. Um, yeah, we'll check. How long have we been? Yeah, and two minutes it'll be two hours, so I think that'll be a good point to end it, honestly. Okay. This is enough damage on the board, so they're just beaming at this point. That's okay. I beam too sometimes. Like them, honestly. I mean, one of the uh, one of the gems they added was like destroy destroy ten cards or so, to get hundred gems. So yeah, yeah, use that lovely lady. I know I would. Helps you get the gems faster. considering I still have a ball on the field, but, uh, alright. Hmm. Okay, and we'll set one in Go ahead.
Okay, yeah. And we got the destroy card. Nice. for the stream uh everybody so yeah. yeah but if you happen to check out the uh the vod later or anything i would appreciate it and uh yeah as i said on my youtube channel uh same same as my twitch channel but mine 14 a little later we we'll get to some of that stuff We've got some Dragon Ball Z as well. And, uh, oh, not bad. We got going first and going second card. Not bad at all. Oh, I'm going first. Um. Hmm. Okay. Wow, this hand's pretty good. Unless they have infinite trouble. But, uh. Yeah, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshift of Destruction. I couldn't think of the name there for a second. I think we got some of that going on for YouTube today, so yeah. Feel free to check in your out if you want. And we've already got Neptune in the graveyard, so I guess we will send... Shall we send it instead? Let's send... Honestly, like... I'm gonna send the field spells. <laughs> okay. And let's do the first hand. And something interesting we could do here is that we did special summon this. Which means we still have our normal summon, so I'll discard this. Oh yeah, I was thinking of adding uh, the Agent of Destruction, but I could be So in that case, let's add all the Sanctuary. Yeah, so we got like a Floodgate, Monster Negate, yeah, this is pretty good. So, yeah, and then, this is just... Yeah, Red Reboot's Last guy who played all of these uh, draw power cards, he basically just kind of breaks. 
Uh, man, he, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He went reloading. He went. Uh, he, he failed on one tip. He got, he got one successful. Just kept digging and couldn't find it. Yeah, yeah. And he, cannot, cannot find the uh, the gift cards or the. Gift cards. So, easy, easy man, to close out the shrink. All right, we'll take the 500 medals, my guy. Alright, everyone, but uh, yeah, thank you for joining me. Uh, yeah, if you decide to check out the VOD later or watch on YouTube, appreciate you. And uh, yeah, everybody, have a good night. Bye bye.